this demonstration we shall discuss how we can quickly create multiple configurations of a wooden cabinet by using auto configure inside SOLIDWORKS environment. When we start SOLIDWORKS we shall see auto configure user interface on the right hand side task main manager. We click on browse button to select the model file and as soon as we click OK auto configure automatically loads the model inside SOLIDWORKS environment. Once the model is loaded, we click on populate button which allows auto configure to read model parameters from this model and save it. As soon as the model parameters are read, auto configure automatically turns the background color of this row to green. We can now export these model parameters into an excel file. Before we do that, we check and set the working directory of autoconfigure where this excel file is being saved. Once this working directory is set, we can click on excel export button and autoconfigure automatically starts an excel application and exports all the model parameters into an excel file. Now as we can see this model has around 35 components and auto configure shows the progress of each and every component. In addition it also shows the total process time. Once this is done we can move to auto configure working directory and we see an excel file being populated. When we open this file we see the first sheet is an auto index sheet which has an index of all the components which are present in this model along with the sheet name which has the parameters corresponding to this component. Auto configure creates separate spaces for various kinds of model properties. For example for configuration names there is a separate space. For features present in the model there is a separate space. It also lists the various components which are present in the sub-assemblies. Now this is the sheet which corresponds to model parameters for the main assembly. Once this is done we can directly input model parameter values in these columns and generate models. I'll take an example of an already created excel file Now in this file we have five different configurations which are being generated. Now once this is done we can move to SOLIDWORKS, click on this sec select excel file button and select the excel file from which we want to read model parameters. In our case it is this. As soon as we click OK, auto configure automatically 
opens that file and checks for compatibility. If it's found compatible, the file name is being updated in this column, as can be seen now. Once this is set, we can simply click configure button and auto configure will start creating configurations. Please note that we can give individual file names and their locations inside the Excel file. In case the file names and the locations are same, these variation in models are generated as configurations. Otherwise, they are being generated as individual files. So auto configure provides an improved way in which you have control over the, the configuration file name. When auto configure starts the configuration process, it defines the total number of designs and the design on which it is working. And it also defines the components which are being processed. Once the configurations are completed, auto configure displays the total configuration time. I'll click on clear button to clear this model. And we shall now open the models which were being generated. If you look at the generated models, it has five configurations which are generated by auto configure. This is the first configuration, the second configuration, the third configuration, fourth configuration, and the fifth configuration. And this is the default configuration from which we started. So this is a simple method with which we can quickly create multiple configurations of any SOLIDWORKS model inside SOLIDWORKS environment by using AutoConfigure. To know more about AutoConfigure, please visit our website www.auto-configure.com. Thank you.